Hello, my name is Eric with ASUS, and today we'll be looking at our ASUS P7P55D-E Pro motherboard. This motherboard features SATA 6 capabilities, and it uses a PLX bridge chip to make the most of their bandwidth. What we're doing here with this test is I'm using a pair of OCZ Vertex Pro drives in a software RAID mode, and then what we're doing is using a GTX 295 from NVIDIA to saturate the PCIe bandwidth. We'll also be doing this in a dual GPU configuration for SLI to see if this will affect the, uh, the overall bandwidth of our drives. Then we'll be testing it the same configuration on a competing board which does not use a PLX solution. And we'll see if there's any differences. Now we're going to run Addo on drive E, which is our software RAID on OC two OCZ Vertex series drives. With one GPU on our P7 P55D-E Pro. So as you can see, we picked out our write speeds about 183, and then for our read speeds, we got about 371. Now that we've seen these solutions on a single GPU, let's try a second GPU. GPU is an SLI using our pair of OCZ Vertex drives in software RAID. We're going to set it to that partition, which is E, and let it run. For this test, our peaks are 183 on the right, and then about 325 for the read. So in this non asus solution, we're going to go into the integrated peripherals menu, and you'll see that we'll have to change this from automatic setup to be USB or whatever device you want to turbo enable. In this case, we're testing our SATA 3 connection, so we'll select SATA 3. Now we're going to test um, the same thing. Single GPU, non plx solution, Computing board on a software RAID. On this test, um, a board without a PLX solution and a single GPU using software RAID peaks out at about 176 right and about 214 on the read. Let's assign it to our SSD RAID configuration and start it up. So on this non-ASUS, non plx solution, our write speeds cap out about 132, and our read speeds are unable to hit uh, 200. So to conclude this test, what we've seen is that even with these really fast OCZ vertex drives, um, you're going to be seeing a bandwidth cap unless you use a PLX solution on your motherboard. This is especially true if you're using SLI. 